When you collect geo points using ODK Collect or Kobo Toolbox, then you can display them in QGIS. In this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that. Now, if you're a humanitarian or development worker and this kind of thing is very useful to you, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I give weekly support and updates and tips on data collection, management, analysis, visualization. So hope hope you uh, really find that helpful. <laughs> So in front of me, I have Kobo Toolbox open. And what I'm going to do is click on the project that I'm interested in where I've collected my uh, geo points. If you click on the data tab and come over to downloads, then you can choose an export type of CSV. That means comma separated values and click export. It will just create an export down here. It'll process it for a moment and then it will create a little download button. So click that little download button. And when it downloads, you can just open it up so you can take a look at it in Excel. It might look a little bit funny when you open it up, um, but you can see that actually instead of comma separated values, it's actually separating all of the columns with these little semicolons. That's quite important. Um, and then the other thing, if I just go to data, text to columns and say this is delimited by a semicolon, then it will just break this into columns and you can see actually where I've collected this data, um, where I've collected the GPS data, there's a column called point no appearance and that holds the entire, um, geometry data. Then it has a latitude column, a longitude column, an altitude column, and a precision column. And we're going to be using latitude and longitude columns in this video. So if we hop over to QGIS, then what you want to do is go to layer and add layer, and you want to add delimited text layer. You're going to just find that file name that we just downloaded. There it is, open that. And you can give it a name. So we'll just say this is a geo point, um, whatever name you want to. In your file format, make sure you have custom delimiters and you choose semicolon. And then for quote, you can put in this little um, quotation mark there and that will actually just remove that from uh, your file. And then for your point coordinates, you want your X field to choose the longitude uh, field and your y, uh, your y field to be your uh, latitude. And for your geometry CRS, uh, what I've chosen is WGS84 uh, and that has worked for my file. So if I just click add, then it will just add that to my project. If I close this now, you can see that it's added to my project and you can see that there are two points. Now, uh, because I have nothing else on my map, I have no way of telling if this is kind of imported it properly. So if you go over into your browser and find XYZ tiles, right click and type in or click on new connection. And then on your name, you can put in open street map in your URL, just paste this um, URL that connects it to the OpenStreetMap server for um, uh, background tiles. And I'll put this in the description below so you can go grab that and then click OK. Once you've done that, uh, just uh, OpenStreetMap will show up under your XYZ tiles. Drag that down into your layers and this will actually, if I drag this below it, So you can actually see the points on the map. Now this map looks a little bit skewed. Um, so what you can do is go into project and go to properties. And for your um, project coordinate reference system, what I like to do is choose, there's a Google Maps Global Mercator. I'm going to apply that. And then it kind of straightens everything out. It doesn't look as wonky. And actually you can see where the points are. 
So that is um, how you show your geo points with a background map just to kind of check. And yes, that is um, where the points should be showing up. So it seems to have worked. So that is how to add geo points into your QGIS uh, software. Hope that helped. Don't forget to please subscribe uh, if you are a humanitarian or development worker and would love uh, weekly support with data management and data visualization tips. So um, yeah, hope to see you here again. Bye. Yeah.